Hey everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Rogue. This is the newest version of the original game. And my window is poorly sized, apparently. Very poorly sized. Yeah, that's one problem with this, is it records and does everything in a terminal. So, window's always going to be a bit shit, unfortunately. I'm... Really? It's a pain. That should be a bit better. There. Okay. Got 18 gold. This is a new version of the original game. X... L? Yeah. I don't know. Bat. Bat. Bat has injured me. Excellent hit on the bat. Missed the bat. Hit me. Excellent hit. Okay. We killed the bat. And I have a scroll titled Hid Sun. Yeah, I have no idea what that does, and you're not supposed to know. The scrolls are pretty much random. You can figure them out by either using a different scroll, which will identify them, or by figuring it out. This here is a staircase, which will go to the next floor, but we need to explore this floor and get some experience because the deeper into the dungeon you go, the stronger the monsters will be. And we are not very strong right now. This game is a lot simpler than Dwarf Fortress. As you can see, and the graphics aren't quite as advanced, <laughs> if you'd say that, but I like it. I wanted to do something smaller, something my computer would have less of a heart attack about, too. Uh, I've played this game a lot, like probably far too often. I only recently installed it on this computer, though. Hobgoblin. They're pretty tough for this early on, actually. Speaking of, we should... Do we have any potions? No. Um, yeah, I'm running away. Our health does regenerate over time. Which is... Nice, because you can actually run away and regenerate while running away. So it can help you survive against stuff like hobgoblins when you're not prepared. Ooh, um, not wield. Where? Yeah. Gee. Um, move? No. Not wearing any rings. What do I have on? Um, plus one ring mail. Oh, that's gonna get cut off, isn't it? Um, don't mind that. <laughs> Trying to get this in the window. It's kind of not cooperating. Drop my ring mail. And where what was it? G? Yeah. G. And it's exactly the same, so that was pointless. Wonderful. There's not really too much to say about this game. It's it's old, but it's actually still maintained, and if you played it a long time ago, which is entirely reasonable. It's probably a lot different than you remember it. Because it is actually still sort of developed, even. Mm, looks like about it. I don't know. I get the feeling there's a secret up in this area, but... Don't see it, so... Crimson potion. Fuck 
you hobgoblin. Oh, and we did level to two. I don't think I mentioned that, but yeah, we're level two now. And I'm just waiting here to restore our health a bit. I'm not hungry or anything. That's good. You will actually get hungry in this too, even though it is simpler than Dwarf Fortress, and potentially and probably very likely die of starvation. Which is a nice feature. Most games that have you dungeon crawling don't incorporate starvation, which is disappointing. Ooh, ice monster. There's actually a... hey, level 3. Cool. The ice monsters can actually be a huge problem because they can freeze you in place in such a way that you cannot move. Ever. Swing miss a bat. Miss a bat. Kestrel hit me pretty well. Miss a bat. Kestrel injured me. Miss a bat. Hit the fucking bat. I've injured the bat. I've defeated the bat. Snake. There. Fucking hell. Scale mail. One hit a hobgoblin. Okay. What was I saying? I don't even remember now. Oh, yeah. Ice monsters. They can freeze you in place indefinitely, which is not actually a bug, it's a feature. It says so on the man page if you ever check that. And there we just ate because we were getting a bit hungry. But yeah, if they do that, you can't actually escape. So it's a good idea to take them out from range, but I'm stupid. You should know that by now. So I usually just run face first into them and hope I don't die, which is a terrible strategy, and I don't recommend it. But what are you going to do? Anyway, unlike Dwarf Fortress, there is actually a way to win at this game. If you make it down, I think it's 26 levels, find a specific amulet, and then make it all the way back up, you win the game. But, I don't know, I think I've only ever done that once, and it's not easy. And I'm not very good at this game, so I really don't expect that to happen anytime while I'm recording or anytime in the future when I play this game on my own time. It's just not something that I expect of myself. But it's a fun game and it's very replayable. It's available for free and if I remember to I'll put a link either in the playlist or the video description, one of the two, to where you can get this game free, online, and completely legally. Um, on floor four, or three, I don't know, I think three, level four. Oh, gold is basically just a score. As far as I can tell, like, a lot of later roguelikes added shops and stuff, but the original rogue, it's just the dungeon. You don't have shops, you can't buy things, you can't trade for things. We just steamrolled an orc. So the gold is literally just points, basically. Black potion, turquoise potion. One thing, um, if you have, like, two black potions and you drink one and find out it does something really useful, can hold on to the other one and it should do the same thing, I think. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Hey, orc. Barely miss the orc. Misses me. Hit the orc. Defeated the orc and a gold. Thank you for paying me for killing you, orc. Did we get... No, we didn't get poisoned. Good. Poison will actually lower our strength quite a bit, which... Well, not quite a bit, but it stacks, and the only way to restore it is if you find potions to restore it. Or scrolls, I suppose. I'm not sure if scrolls can do that or not, but I know potions can. 
Uh, I think this is our first maze. This is something relatively new, and if you played the game a long time ago, you probably won't have seen these, but... Now, some of the tiles, if you haven't noticed, the each dungeon map is divided up into six, like, tiles. So, one over here, two, three, four, five, and six. And it used to be that they were all either rooms, hallways, or dead ends. But now, there are these mazes, which are basically just, you know, extravagant hallways. And they usually don't have much in them. It's just another thing, but it's something that they added, I think, in version 5? Might be version 6, I'm not sure. But yeah, as you can see, this didn't really have anything of note in it. But at least I got to explain that. And I just got lost in one of the simplest fucking mazes ever after I had uncovered it on the map. I am great at this. Hey, Rattlesnake. Welcome to level 5. Thank you. I like being level 5. And empty room. Wonderful. Okay, looks like we're ready to go to the next floor. Um, Kestrel? Kestrel. They're getting pretty easy, but the monsters will get harder the deeper we go. Yeah. You know, for as simple as speaking of harder monsters, um... Oh, let's eat. I want to... Eh, never mind. Attack! Okay. I was going to switch to the, um, where is it, cross, or short bow that you start off with by default and shoot a few arrows into them, but, eh, screw it. You can tell it's been a little while since I played because my memory is just horrible with the controls. My memory is horrible with roguelike controls in general though, and you should probably get used to this because it's not likely to change throughout the time I maintain this channel, or any time beyond that. And I have no plans on giving up this channel anytime soon because talking to myself playing roguelikes is actually pretty fun. Believe it or not. Hello E, um, Emu. I don't think I've ever seen an emu this deep in the dungeon before. Normally they're on the like the first two or three levels. Hmm. Yeah, this is Yeah. Even for how simple it is, this is probably one of my favorite games, and especially one of my favorite, like short break sort of games. I don't know how much you lot know about roguelikes in general, but there's a style of roguelike called the Coffee Break Roguelike, where you can play in like two, three, five minute intervals, and they tend to be really simple control-wise, and this game is a little bit more complex than most Coffee, -like roguelike, coffee Break Roguelikes. Yeah, that's a mouthful. But it's Hey, a secret door. But it's simple enough that you can actually just play for a couple minutes and still have fun with it. And because of how random everything is, you know, standard roguelike fashion, you end up with a really replayable game. What is that? Another short bow? I don't really need that, but I'll take it. Gold, ice monster, and we died. Uh, huh, yeah, okay, we're dead now. Yeah, it's got my name and a little tombstone. And apparently we froze to death. That sucks. Oh. Let's play one more. Uh, 
I don't know. That was a bit short-lived, but such is life in Roblox, I suppose. Emu. Yeah, you see? Level 1, we have an emu. I don't even know, like... Ooh. I should run. Um... Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. So anyway, second character. <laughs> um, yeah, that went poorly. These are bell. Yeah, and then throw. And what was it? E. Yeah. The arrow misses the bat. Everyone misses the bat. Everyone misses the bat. Come on. I think I just threw my short bow at him. Um, let's... Let's see. Pick the bat, defeat the bat, pick up all this shit again. Yeah, it's one thing that happens. Um, I don't know, the range combat isn't bad, but it's definitely not reliable. None of the combat in this game is reliable, though. This game does like to leave you at the mercy of the random number generator, which... Pretty much standard for roguelikes nowadays. And considering this is what started the whole roguelike thing, I suppose I shouldn't really be questioning why. It's just sort of how the game works. Hey, we leveled. No, we didn't. We just got more HP. Uh, what? Whatever. I wasn't paying attention. Peter seems to be handling this game a lot better than Dwarf Fortress. With Dwarf Fortress, my fan would have been going ridiculously loud by now. But this game is light enough and simple enough, I guess, that my fan is just sort of chugging along fine. Even with recording software running. Hey, level 3. Why does it say we're level 1 in the corner then? Or is that... Okay, I'm just stupid, never mind. Where's the staircase? Bottom right? Yeah. Oh, and um... If you stay on a floor for a while, enemies will just continue to spawn. Like, just appearing out of literal nowhere. So... You can just sit there and grind on weaker enemies if you're not confident. There we go. Secret path. Thought so. Um, but if you're not confident, you can just sit there and grind on weaker enemies on the first couple of floors. Oh. Rust trap. Fuck you. I don't normally see traps this early in the dungeon. Really? Two dead ends? It's boring. Dark room. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about Dwarf Fortress. I haven't been in the mood to play it as much. So it's probably going to go on hiatus, hiatus at least for a little while. But I never. Dwarf Fortress is the kind of game that, no matter 
why I stepped away from it, I will always go back to it. So, I can almost guarantee you that it will show up again. And probably not too far into the future either. Especially since there's supposed to be a new version coming out sometime. And new versions especially tend to get me to start playing it again. Eh. I've considered doing an LP of Fortress Mode, but I don't think Fortress Mode lends itself well to being recorded because of how much shit's going on and how much of it is just assigning tasks and then waiting for the dwarves to actually do something about it. Like, it's just... I don't think I can make that entertaining. And even if I could, it probably wouldn't turn out very well because... Well, you've certainly noticed that my editing skills are pretty lackluster. I don't normally edit my videos very much, if at all. And in order to do a proper, like, entertaining video or series on Fortress Mode, I'd actually have to cut out probably 90% of what I record, or just not record it. Which, and it's not really a problem, but it's not really fun for me if I'm sitting there something exciting happens and I have to stop the action and hit record which is actually a bit more of a pain in the ass than it should be because I have a few setup procedures to go through before I can record something. Plus I have to type out a really long command in the command line which I usually screw up at least twice before I get it to work because I'm stupid and I don't pay attention to what keys I'm hitting. Normally it's just something like I forgot an underscore, but it's enough to make the entire thing have to be retyped. There's not really much to talk about with this game. It's... It's rogue. It's Pretty simple, really. You walk around, you kill stuff, and you, you move on. Ooh, a ring. Um, where? No, not wield. Where? F. What? I'm not wearing a ring. Where? Uh, what? I have a ring? Oh, it's ring mail. Herp derp. So, Q. Where? Q then, right? No. Whatever. I can't remember the control to put on a ring. Apparently. That I already have a ring on, I just forgot, but that seems pretty unlikely. Okay, kestrels. Go away. Speaking of away, where are the other... Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, there has to be a secret. The map will always be full, so... If there's no way to get to, say, the tile that's supposed to be over here, then there's got to be a secret that you have to search for. Or, well, you don't have to. If you found the exit already, you don't really need to worry about it. But there has to be either a room, uh, a room, a hallway, or a maze of some sort in every tile of the dungeon. And work. So 
so that's a good way to make sure you don't miss secrets, is to just see if there's any place you haven't been to. Uh, I have a... I'm gonna try the turquoise potion. I like turquoise. Oh. Hey! Luck. Thank you. I was hoping it was a health potion, so I don't have to worry about dying quite as quickly. So, turquoise potions. All further turquoise potions we find should be health potions, if I'm remembering correctly. I could be completely wrong, but I think that's how it works. Entered the snake, defeated the snake. I think we've got more gold now than our last character did, don't we? This is going to be a long recording session, I think. But really? Nothing? There's got to be something here, right? Um, this is going to take forever to render, but whatever. Really? Looks like there should be a secret there. Oh well, guess there's not. Okay, next floor. After we kill this. Or die to it because, you know, rub likes. I think once this character dies, I'll cut the recording session. I'm having fun now. Germanium ring. Oh, um, do we have any? Yeah, I'm gonna read a scroll. H. Identify potion scroll. Do we? Identify L. Restore strength. That's actually kind of useful. Cool. Yeah, um. There's no good way to figure out what scrolls and potions do without finding an identify for them. So, the best thing you can really do is try them. A lot of times that'll result in you wasting it, but. Fuck you. But sometimes, especially in emergencies, if you have potions and scrolls and you remember to use them, they can save you or they can kill you faster. But a lot of the time it's better to try one than to just die outright. My problem is I always forget I have them. Is not a good thing. Uh, we have a ah, bear trap. Fuck you. Is there a. No. Um. I thought there was a button to disable traps. Is that a different game? Yes, I know there's a bear trap there. I want to disable it. Um, okay. Well, apparently I can't do that. Hmm. Do I have any useful items? I still don't remember how to wear a ring. I'm gonna look that up. Uh, capital P. Okay. QL. Um, right hand. What? Um, oh, okay. Okay, good. We have rings now. And apparently I can't go through the store without stepping on a bear trap. Either that or I'm stupid. Either way, I should have looked at the controls while I was still there. 
Oh, hey. A secret orc. That's annoying. Hello. And goodbye. So this is pretty pointless, I take it? Yeah, pretty pointless. We got to kill an orc, though. Killing stuff's nice. And a rattlesnake. I know I'm caught in a bear trap, let me go. I regenerate my health anyway. Apparently I'm Wolverine the Rogue. Something like that. I don't know. Hobgoblin. Um. No. No. Quaff. Not quit. Quaff. Um. Let's try our luck with gold. Um, that didn't do anything. Shit. Uh, silver? Everything seems cosmic. Uh, that wasn't useful at all. Okay, well, that's all for now. Hope you had fun. See you guys.